I'm not too sure what's going on in the world right now because, uh, well, let me explain. I have just taken a short flight, two and a half hours from the UK, into one of the Balearic Islands, this one being Mallorca, to Pula Golf Resort. Looks absolutely incredible and the plan was quite simple. Well, the weather in the UK right now is fairly grim, so we'll fly off to somewhere warm, we'll create a load of content over a three or four day period, we'll have a look around Pula Golf Resort, play some golf in the sun, go back home, get it edited, and get some great content up on the channel for you to watch. That all went out the window very quickly when we arrived because the weather out here right now is horrific. And I mean horrific. So right now, I am pretty much bound to this very nice room, uh, but it seems that could be the case for the next 48 hours. But fingers crossed, I get out on the golf course pretty soon. I'll keep you all posted. Even going for breakfast this morning is a huge challenge. The rain has eased a little, but the wind has picked up and it's forecast 50 and 60 mile an hour winds this afternoon. Wait till a little bit of breakfast and uh, taking cover for another few hours and just drinking coffee and trying to wait for this storm to pass over. The, uh, the, the wind is horrific. I can report it has stopped raining, so we'll take some positives from it. I don't think I'm going to get out on the golf course today. So it could be a few hours editing back in the um, hotel room, which thank God is very nice. And then just fingers crossed for tomorrow morning which uh, I'm pretty sure the storm is passing. It's just whether or not the water drains from the course because it's rained for the past 48 hours, I would say. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be some impressive drainage to get rid of all that. But anyway, we shall see. But never did I expect to be uh, in a monsoon in Mallorca. Right, so before I go back into lockdown into my room, I'm staying in um, what you call an apartment, I suppose, which is, uh, as you've seen, got kitchen area, bathroom, living space. But behind me is um, the main hotel building, which I think, judging by that sign, I've just took a little bit of a uh, glimpse at, dates back to 1581. I know this is a golf channel, but um, this is seriously pretty lineup of uh, buildings and estates here and uh, I'm sure there's lots of history that surrounds it. Unfortunately I'm here for the golf and uh, although we've definitely taken a little bit of cover down here at the moment there's still no things uh, no sign of things changing there but uh, it's such a shame because just with a bit of sunshine this place would look pretty gorgeous I think and I've only ever seen visuals of the golf course itself which again are uh, pretty stunning to be fair. Right, back into lockdown. Well, what a difference a day makes, they say, and uh, the sun is shining, and I'm pleased to report we're finally gonna get onto this golf course, but it looks oh so different in some nice sunshine. Now, if I'm stood here looking at that golf hole, apart from the fact I think it looks incredible, I want a club in my hand that I think I can hit the fairway with. Is this the one? We're certainly going left with cut. That's left cutting towards the water. Be positive and... Oh my word, this could be the one. That to me looks like it's the middle of the fairway. The question is, what is it? Do you know what? This is right on it as well. Go. Oh. Oh, 
well that's gone up the bunker and it's not moved from the bunker <laughs> so that's an interesting one it's done exactly what I wanted it to in terms of the line that I chose it didn't move but it certainly didn't cut and one thing I'd like to check before I go any further is if this is in fact a draw bias in terms of that head profile and it's weighting right good news again is that we've got a uh, well what looks to be another sunny day ahead so it's back onto the first tee and I've got a few more products to review and have a better look around of Pula today which is uh, well, looking even better than yesterday. Right okay so as you've seen quite a few shots from on the course so my whole week here has been about product testing got lots of content filmed in the last two days and I cannot believe how well this course has drained when you consider that kind of almost hurricane that we've had over the last uh, 48 hours prior it was unreal but uh, it's also a shame that I'm not able to sort of show this course off to its full sort of potential there's um, a lot of water features around this golf course a lot of interesting layouts in terms of the design of the holes and uh, hopefully i've showed you a little bit of that along the way but perhaps not like i'd want to do and it's the same really with the accommodation the whole thing i think it's absolutely stunning I love a modern hotel, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to come to a place like this where there's also so much character in these buildings as well. The food has been good. The staff have been super friendly as well, which is always nice. So everybody in the restaurants of an evening is really friendly. Um, help me out in terms of my Spanish is horrendous. Their English is far better than my Spanish. And like I said, we've had a bit of a laugh of an evening as well. So it's been good. I'm just off to do a little bit of putting practice before I go back out on the course. So there's a little bit of an update for you. I'll uh, film a little bit more out on the course this afternoon and uh, maybe catch up and speak to you again a little bit later on. Turn ball, turn ball. <sighs> Nearly. Uh, the other good thing to mention here, or worth mentioning at least, is the fact that the practice facilities are superb. That's Trackman range that they've got on every bay behind me. Some nice uh, putting greens. All we need is that wind to die down a little before we go out onto that first tee, because as you can see from them flags, the breeze has picked up again. We're a little bit cold. There you go, at the bunker really solid ball i'm going to say at the bunker it's slightly left of the bunker it's gone a whole long way so inside left of the bunker is the line that's bang on again i mean it's to be honest with you oh wow that's almost too long oh my word i think that's got to go a bit go a bit more oh don't spin <laughs> that has gotten over by literally a couple of feet and uh, i've no idea what the yardage was didn't get one that wedge by the way interesting enough is a mizuno s23 super soft i played a 56 clearly not the right wedge but nice little golf hole that isn't it Right, so that's it, my final morning at Pula Golf Resort. Um, unfortunately, a couple of days of really stormy weather, but seen enough of that golf course to, uh, well, to make me want to come back, to be honest with you. Some great holes out there. Hopefully, it's give you a little bit of an insight into what this place is like and what it certainly can be like. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure, to be honest with you, to stay here. And uh, if that sun was shining, it'd have been all the more better. Anyway, as ever, I always like to bring you along for the ride. Thanks for watching, I'm about to get a plane home and I'll see you all tomorrow night.